Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. Today we're taking baked potatoes to a whole nother level. I've cooked a pork butt overnight low and slow. We're gonna make a barbecue loaded potato. All the good stuff on the inside, cheese all over the outside. It's gonna be delicious. Let's get to cooking. So I'm starting with some large russet baker potatoes. I saved all the bacon drippings from the bacon that we're gonna put on the inside. I'm just gonna drizzle that bacon grease right over the tops of these potatoes. Then we're gonna take a gloved hand. We're just kinda work it all around. We wanna get that bacon grease on the outside. It's gonna make it taste good. And you could use some olive oil, vegetable oil, anything you want, but bacon grease is your friend and it's delicious. Now for the barbecue potato, I'm gonna use some of my hot rub and we're just gonna give it a generous coat. We're not trying to get too heavy. Just wanna get some of those barbecue seasonings working on that skin. The bacon grease is gonna help that seasoning stick to the outside. Now we're ready for the grill. I'm gonna cook these today on my Traeger Timberline. I've got it running at 350 degrees. We're gonna cook them till they're soft. That way we can scrape out the insides, stuff them with all the goodness, top them with some pulled pork. All right, the Traeger's running at 350 degrees. I'm just gonna take these potatoes, put them right on the rack. No right or wrong way to cook a baked potato on the grill. So our potatoes have been on the Traeger for about an hour and a half. They should be close. I'm gonna check them with the wooden skewer. If you can take that skewer and just slide it in, that means the potato is perfect. All of them look to be right where I want them. So we're gonna get them off. Let's go over to the cutting board, and doctor on these potatoes. So to stuff these, I'm just gonna pick each potato up and cut off the top portion of it. You don't wanna cut it too deep. It's like it's making a potato skin. That's gonna give us still some good body of the potato to scrape out and to hold all the stuffing we're gonna put in it. Now don't get rid of these skins, we're gonna use them too. Now what I'm gonna do with the skin is go ahead, scrape it out in a bowl. And I'm just gonna hollow out the potato now. You wanna leave a little of the potato in it, that way it'll stand up once we get it stuffing. Don't scrape it too thin. And now we're gonna load them up. I'm adding one stick of butter, I just kinda cut it up into quarters. We need some sour cream. Now we're ready for some cheese. Now I've got some cheddar and some jack. I've grated it and just kinda mixed it together. We're gonna save some of it for the tops of the potatoes, but I want the cheesy on the inside too. I'm just gonna mix the cheese in with the butter, the sour cream. We're gonna have a lot more potato mixture than we're gonna have inside the potato, but that's okay too. Now we gotta get it seasoned. And I'm just using my salt, pepper, garlic, little AP seasoning on it. Gotta have some flavor on the inside. You gotta have some greenery. So I've just got some green onion, thinly sliced, and a little bit of bacon. That's where we got the bacon grease from. I wanna put some of that bacon on the inside. Save a little garnish with on the top. That's all that goes in the potato stuffing. Just wanna mix it in. Now we're ready to fill the potatoes. All you do is just spoon it right back in the canoe of that potato we made. You don't have to pack it real hard, but you wanna get several spoons in there. Save some room for some pulled pork on top, and the big one is gonna be last. Now we're ready for some pulled pork. Now I cooked a pork butt last night Low and slow, it took about 14 hours. Then I shredded it this morning. That's what we're putting on top here. If you wanna check out that video, just hit the link. But I wanna pile this pulled pork up on the potatoes. Before I top it with the cheese, I'm gonna drizzle just a little bit of my barbecue sauce right over that pulled pork. Now we're ready to smother them with the cheese blend. I don't know if you can get too much cheese on it. The Traeger's still running at 350 degrees, and we're just going back on long enough to melt the cheese over the top. After about five minutes, our cheese is melted all over the top. We're ready to go to the board. Now, before I try one of these potatoes, I'm going to garnish them just with a little bit of that leftover green onion. Bacon's going on top, too. Give it a little extra crunch on top. Let you know we're cooking with pork here. That looks good to me. I'm getting all that bacon. I know these potatoes are hot. But I can't wait to try them because they look so good. I know they're gonna taste good. I'm just gonna go in right through the cheese, right through all that goodness. Pulled pork, loaded baked potato, bacon, cheese, green onion, butter, sour cream, more cheese, barbecue sauce, what? Mm. The creaminess of the potato, the savoriness of the pulled pork, sweetness of the barbecue sauce, the cheese melted over the top, that's how you do a baked potato right. Mmm. That's delicious. You don't need a bun and slaw for pulled pork when you got a big old loaded baked potato. That's good. That's real good. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, if you got leftover pulled pork, get you some baked potatoes, and it's worth cooking a butt if you don't have any leftovers. Smoke that dude overnight, make you some loaded baked potatoes. 
you're going to love them. Thanks for hanging out with us here today at How to Barbecue Right. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to the channel. Shell and I will talk about this recipe on our weekly podcast. Y'all give that a listen to. You know you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. We'll see y'all next time. Chill, you got to come get you one of these taters. They are jam up. That cheese on that tater. And don't think I forgot about them skins. I'm putting them on the grill right now.